It's Deb Watson again, and the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to wet the paper. Today I'm using a three-quarter inch oval silver black velvet wash brush. You could use a flat hake or hockey brush, but having a soft wash brush can really help getting a smooth wash. And I'm starting with the light blue. I want the top of the sky darker. And I'm also putting some of that at the bottom. So you can see I'm leaving kind of a target area, like an oval in the middle. And now I'm going to start tilting my board and letting the water and the paint run. I'm going to tilt it sky down first and try to get the darker color up to the top of the sky. When I get the darker color up there, I tilt the board the opposite way to help blend some of that together. Learning how to manipulate a wash by tilting just takes practice. Now, the first wash is dry. I'm wetting the area. I want to grow some trees, but I want them to have a couple different colors in there. Maybe some burnt sienna, maybe some gray, maybe some blue. And now that I've got them grown as high as I want, I'm holding the bottom down so that the darkest area will be near the base. I'm taking the razor blade and I'm scratching in some distant trees while the little wash here is still wet. So I mix up a dark green. And then I rinse some of the color out of my brush and pick up a little bit of the light cobalt blue. That way I'm going to have a green that's farther away and lighter in value. I want the tree that's the tall one to go from dark at the top to lighter color at the bottom. And I'm, with this one I'm going to get darker as I come toward the ground. So the tree on the left was light to dark, and the tree on the right was dark to light. And I'll put the snow on with my opaque white at the end. Now that that's dry, I'm going to put in some bare trees with a mix of the brown and the black. And now I can take the tape off the barn. To lift that up, I'm going to use a piece of Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. And you wet it and squeeze the water out before you start using it. And I'm using it to rub the surface and lift up all that blue paint. You can also use Mr. Clean to lift up far away hills or lift up any area you want to be lighter. You can also use it to lift out areas for the road. I do just a little dry brush in the area between the initial wash and where I lifted it up. And the snow is looking pretty good. 
using a damp brush, I just do a circular motion where I want the smoke rising to reactivate the paint and then lifted it out with a paper towel. I also used the dark red to put the chimney on the house. And now that that's dry, I'm coming in with just red to do a nice bright red barn. Take a little of my black mix and go right underneath the roof line while that red is still wet. Next, I've got a brush. I cleaned it out most of the water out and I'm just drawing into the wet wash of red. I'm starting at the black so I can pull some of that color down or in the dark area you could re-wet and lift up and that suggests the wood of the barn. Then I darken that with a little of my blue-black mix but in this case, I'm going to paint around the window and the door. I use a darker color to outline the eaves and use a thirsty brush to lift up some of that color and give some definition to the end of the road with just a little bit darker blue mix. Now that everything's dry, I'm putting in the last tree. I put a few fence posts in, and I put some yellow around the big picture window, and I decide I'd like the door to be red also. I suggest some windows, and take my yellow and brown to draw in some grasses. I got some wet snow on my brush and I'm tapping it on my finger to create some falling snow. If your pathway didn't come out the way you want, now's the time to use white. You can also use some white to clean up your snow lines. And one fun thing you can do, if you have a tiny brush, to do a few icicles hanging down from your roof line. If you don't like the way your trees turned out, turn them into frost covered trees. Decide to put a little highlight in each of the dark windows. Here's a little bit of a quarter moon. I'm just using a little bit of the blue mixture, very watery throw in a couple clouds. And last, I'm going to put a dark outline around the light in the window just to make it show up even more. I start with the pencil lines to make sure I like where they're at. And then you can either use a tiny brush or an ink pen. This side of the house was the same value as the snow, so I darkened it up just a touch. And there you have a nice winter scene. We've used a lot of techniques, so I hope you like it. Happy painting!